recording. Welcome back, folks, to another Monday at home, in-home strength training. Uh, we're going to knock out completely body weight workout for the next 30 minutes. Everything is going to be for time. I'll let you know when to start, let you know when to stop. We'll do supersets, two exercises at a time, just alternating. I'll let you know when to start. I'll let you know when to stop. Just follow along, have some fun, and let's get this thing going. So we're going to start out today with our bird dogs. Let's go ahead and move this little bit. Bird dogs are going to be on our knees, little quadruped position. Hands and the knees right like so. Shoulders over the wrist. We have the hips over the knees. We're going to start out reaching one leg back, opposite arm out in front. We'll just bring them together. We'll just alternate for 60 seconds there. We'll start in just a moment. After that, we'll go half kneeling. So we've got one foot in front, one knee on the ground behind us. I'm going to go T-spine rotations. My right leg is in front. So I'm going to bring my right arm down to the ground as close as I can. And then reaching it up to the sky as high as I can. I want that nice thoracic rotation here. Try to move your rib cage. Rotate that sucker as much as you can. We'll go 30 seconds on this side. Switch them out. 30 seconds on this side. We're just going to knock it out one set real quick. Starting in uh, three, two, one, bird dogs, let's hit it. <clears throat> reaching back, reaching forward, knees to the elbow, reset the hands, opposite, alternating for these 60 seconds here, folks. It's not a race here, just trying to press into the ground. The hand, this guy right here, pressing that as hard as we can, reaching out, finding some nice balance at the, at the top, and then switch it out. We can bring the knees into the elbow, then reach out again, just mixing it up, reaching with everything you got, squeeze the knee into the chest, reset, grab it out, squeeze them in. We're in about 20 more seconds, y'all. I'm out of race here. Just take your time with it. Try to lengthen, try to compress, squeeze in as much as you can, then lengthen as far as you can. We got 10 more seconds. Same with me now. Nine, eight, five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax onto the half kneeling T spine rotations. We're gonna have one knee in front for 30 seconds. Let's get twisting. Ready, set, begin. Dropping down, reaching up, and make sure this back leg, we try to get that sucker. It's on the ground. We just want it as far back as possible. Don't let it get crunched up like this, y'all. Wanna just find, find some length. We can open up that hip. Ooh, big reach. Already halfway through. <sighs> nice inhales at the top, y'all. Compress, compress, exhale, every little. Oh, here we go. Two seconds. One second. And relax right there. We got Sunday in the house. We got our half kneeling action going here Sunday. T spine rotations. We're on our second leg, so feel free to alternate right here. Ready, set, go. Left leg forward for me, so we got my left arm dropping down. And reaching up as high as I can. If the elbow doesn't go down, not the biggest issue in the world. Just reach out. We want to get a little rotation. Get the little hammy some love. And then reaching up. Oh, yeah. Then you can do it. Ten more seconds here, y'all. Big twist. Easy down. Big twist. Two seconds. One second. And relax right there. So that's our first superset right there, folks. Two exercises down. Next up, we have the shin box wave and groiners with the twist. So our shin box wave, folks, we're going to have one leg out in front, one leg tucked back behind us. We're just going to alternate these positions here. Big thing, try to drive this front leg down as hard as you can into the ground. Try to lift this sucker up as high as you can without this knee moving. You may get it higher than me, you may not get it as high as me. That's totally fine. You can even put your hands behind your back for a little assistance here. You just want to rotate and then we're on the same position just on the opposite side. So press this leg in front down, lift up behind us, then we'll switch it right back over. All right, we'll start that. We'll go for 30 seconds. After that, we're going to go groiners with a twist. We'll go alternating. So it's going to be pretty much that uh, half kneeling, but we're just going to go from a push-up position. So Legs are straight now. Right foot to right hand. This looks pretty familiar, right? Then reaching up to the sky, locking this arm down here, folks. Don't let this guy crash in. Be strong. Let this thing support your body weight right here. Back leg is straight. 
big reach to the sky. All right, some folks kind of do this little twisty thing with their shoulder. Just open that puppy up right there. Right there. Cool. Uh, then we'll alternate, bada bing, bada boom. Other side, 30 seconds, nonstop action. We're gonna try this for three sets here, folks. Just really let those hips open up, get a, get a nice rotation there, and we also get those wrists warmed up with our groiners. All right, so 30 seconds of shin box waves, starting in three, two, one. Hit it, big proud chest, hands if you need it, folks. You can lean back a little bit. The, the end goal, going with no hands on the ground. Really pushing those knees apart as we get to that little midpoint and then reset at the bottom again. Boom, separate, 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 and reset, big proud chest. Ooh, sit nice and tall. We got about seven seconds here, folks. Not a race, take your time with it. We got three, two, one, and relax. Very nice. Now into our push up position for groiners with the twist, starting in three, two, one. Hit it. Step one leg up, that hand goes to the sky. All right, so step back, right foot forward, right hand up to the sky, right back down. You can kind of go at a swift pace with your switches or a nice snail's pace, really taking some time in these in range positions, reaching up, making sure that back leg is straight. You got three seconds left, y'all. Two, one, and relax. Fantastic. That's one set. We're going to go for two more, folks. Starting with the shin box wave in three, two, one. Rock and roll. Hold the legs, one in front, one behind. Pull the back leg up and follow it with the other. You can even go like a little forward fold, kind of pseudo pigeon stretch at the bottom of these. We're going to do this for another set after this. So if you're getting a little stale with your shin box wave, feel free to do a little pancake fold forward, big proud chest, or just stick to it. Maybe have your hands behind your back still, just nice and slow. Totally legit, folks. Get those hips right. Recover right there. Let's go back into our push up position. Groiners with a twist, starting in three, two, one. Hit it. One foot forward, and that hand goes up. Make sure we don't lift up with those hips. Keep those hips forward. I want to open up that hip flexor. This bad boy right here. Try to bring this guy forward so we can get some length there. As we twist even, hot diggity dog. That twist helps that hip flexor quite a bit there, folks. Don't neglect the twist. We have seven seconds left. Hey, yeah, five, three, two, one. Big twist, big twist, and relax. Let's go right back in to our shin box way. We have one more set here, folks. You may have noticed the difference with the second set versus the first set. This third one might be the magic one where the hands come off. Maybe you can sink a little bit slower, sink a little bit deeper into those stretches. All righty, ready, set, go. Last set right here, chest big and proud. Pull those puppies apart, reset. Sit nice and tall, twist the hips. 10 seconds in already. Hey, maybe get a little fold. Just kiss your forehead to the ground if you can manage to get that far forward. Ugh. Just make sure you're breathing. Nice exhale. Coming back. We got about two seconds. One second. And recover right there, folks. Three sets down right there. Time for our last set of groiners with the twist. Started in three, two, one. Hit. Stepping forward. Big twist. Switch them out. Feel free to kind of hop these feet front to back for a little turbo speed. We have about 15 seconds left. The hips are already feeling good. Challenge yourself with some speed and coordination. If you're not ready for that, just march them out just like this. Three seconds, two seconds, last second right there, folks. Let's recover right there. Hot dog, three sets. Now we're going to go into our wide stance RDLs, just a nice simple hip, hit, hip hinge. And we're gonna play with a, a variety of stances. So we'll start out nice and wide and work our way in a little bit more narrow, making uh, our, our base a little bit less stable as we bring our feet together. Cool, uh, we'll go 30 seconds there. That's gonna be two feet nice and tall. 
feet will start out nice and wide, hips going back, hips coming forward. So we're gonna go three sets, so we'll go a little bit more narrow as we go. Maybe even get our feet touching. Um, just get attacking those hamstrings uh, at just different angles with those different stances. Um, so that'll be great right there. Then we'll go single leg RDLs with a reverse fly. That's a big mouthful, folks. We're just gonna go back to our RDL. Now one foot off the ground, hips go back. You can even take that leg back behind you. Then we'll reach our thumbs up to the sky. Nice reverse fly. If you have like a band or a dumbbell, you wanna go one arm, that'd be fantastic as well. Um, but for my folks with uh, just their body weight, you and me are in the same boat. We'll do just fine with our arms straight and thumbs up. We'll go 30 seconds one leg, switch it out. 30 seconds on the other leg, working that balance, working that upper back, squeezing those shoulder blades together so we can run and sit and do everything nice and tall in our day to day. Cool? So we'll go three sets, 30 seconds a piece. Um, so let's begin. Stop my timer, reset it. Wide stance RDLs, folks, in three, two, one, hit it. Feet wide, hips go back. I'm gonna try to make sure our back is staying pretty dang flat. If you're like, oh, I don't know, I can't see, turn your camera on, you probably can see. If you have a mirror, you can see. If you need some help with it, maybe hands behind your head can help keep the shoulders back so you don't go into little turtle mode like this. I wanna be big and proud. Like so, three seconds here, y'all. Two, one, relax. Now we're bringing them in nice and narrow. Well, not narrow, we're gonna go into the single leg. So real narrow, ready, set, go. One leg is up, boom, reach it back. And we'll squeeze the shoulder blades together. Don't feel like you have to get super aggressive with the angle, folks. Main goal, stand on one foot for 30 seconds. Secondary goal, can you get your shoulders Flapping like a condor or something like that. Just staying with that. We're breathing. Five more seconds, then it's time for the other leg. Three, two, one. Switch them out. Ready to go. Other leg. Holy smokes. Find the balance. Then worry about the arms. Secondary, folks. Primary goal. Find your balance here. One leg off the ground. Big squeeze thumbs are pointing up to the sky. Here we go, we got about 12 seconds here. 10, seven, big squeeze, four, three, two, one last one right here, and recover. Ooh, baby. All right, so if you had your feet super wide, like we're about to do the splits, let's bring them in, maybe about shoulder width or so. And feel free to play around with this, y'all. Nothing's written in stone on this thing. Just want you to try multiple stances. All righty. Ready, set, go. About shoulder width or so, hips back, hips forward. Think about like a kettlebell swing. Throwing those hips to the top. We're just going to go nice and slow. Really embrace that stretch at the bottom. That nice athletic position with all that power coming from the hips, y'all. Waking everything up back there. Big squeeze to the top. Standing tall. We've got six more seconds. Three, and recover right there. Right into our single legs in three, two, one. Hit it. Round two, y'all. Find that balance. If you're wearing shoes and you're kind of jumping all over the place, you slip those puppies off, you may have better balance. If you're on some shaggy carpet or something, might be a little tougher as well. Find something nice and solid. Big squeeze. Hey, 10 more seconds on this leg, y'all. Keep fighting. Drive those toes into the ground. Keeping the ankle active. Slight bend in that knee. Two seconds. One second. Relax. Switch it up and begin right onto the other leg. Here we go. Here we go. Other leg. And we're moving. Find your balance. Gripping those toes. Stand up when you need to. If the shoulder's tired. Back is tired. Stand up. Just keep this foot off the ground. That's the number one goal. Stand on one foot, 15 more seconds. 10 seconds, y'all, keep it cooking. Uh-oh, here we go. Whoa, three, two, one. Recover right there. Ooh, baby. 
Two down, folks. One to go. We can go super narrow. Go hip hinge here. You can try a few of those. Maybe the wide was like, oh, really nice on that hip with the adductors, and you want to stay wide. Be my guest. We're going to go for 30 seconds of hip hinges. Ready, set, and go. Get our narrow. Get feet touching. Ooh. Can't quite seem to go as low with the feet narrow. Totally understandable. I'm in that same camp. But hey, we're gonna get it right. This should also help us find our balance on the single leg RDLs. Having just a smaller base. Of course, it's gonna be easier. We got two feet on the ground. Really challenge that position. We have one more rep here. And relax. On to the single leg. Starting in three, two, one. Hit it. One foot up. Reaching it back, Ooh, find the balance, and squeeze. We are about 10 seconds in already, folks. Keep rolling with it. Big proud chest, keeping the shoulders back. If you just kind of roll those shoulders, that'll be even great for you too. So arms going out to the side a little much. You got five seconds. Switching feet in three, two, one. Switch them out, here we go. Side, big proud chest. Again, switching shoulder circles would be fantastic. Reach your back, stand tall, reconnect, find the balance, thinking low. Got about 10 seconds here, y'all. Keep fighting, keep squeezing. Here we go. Almost there. We got three, two, one, eight, and relax right there. Oh mama, there it is. Three sets down. Moving right along, folks. We're gonna go into lateral lunges. We'll have our wide stance again, just kind of shifting left and right, and shoulder tap, planks. So our lateral lunges, very similar to our wide stance RDLs, but now we're going to start out with that hip hinge, then shift your weight all to one side and bend into this knee, keeping this foot nice and flat. We'll return to the center and then shift all the weight to the other side. One thing to look out for here, y'all, make sure that that knee just doesn't dive forward and the, with the hips with it and the heel kind of pops up. A little rough on the knee. Let's get the hips involved more into this game as we go side to side. Just start out with that hip hinge and then shift from there. Cool, we'll go 30 seconds there. After that, we're gonna go plank position, shoulder taps. Have our nice push up position. We'll take one hand up, tap the shoulder, put it down and then tap the other shoulder. Big thing to look out here for is our hips. You're gonna wanna shift your weight and hips over to that side. Make sure we square them off so you can balance, you know, a little plate of food on the back, anything like that. Just whatever you start out with in your push-up position, that shape does not change at all for 30 seconds. All right, we'll go for three sets here, folks. Starting with the lateral lunges. 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one, hit it. Feet are wide, hips go back, sinking low. Back to the top, the feet can stay in one spot the whole time, folks. No need to reset, unless it feels a little funky. Ugh, it's gonna feel a little bit different for everybody. Everyone's got different adductor length because your groin may be a little bit tighter than others. Don't worry about that, just find what's comfortable. And we can get all our weight on one leg while the other leg staying nice and straight. Cool, let's recover right there. 30 seconds flies by. We got our planks now, starting in three, two, one, hit it. Push up position, just one hand up, Boop. a little tap, switch them out. This doesn't have to be fast. I recommend you go nice and slow here. Spend as much time on one hand as you can. Don't just go ha, 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 rapid fire. Take your time, it's gonna be a little bit tougher, but I promise you it's gonna pay off. Fight that rotation of the hips. Taking your time, squeeze those fingers into the mat here, folks. We've got three seconds, two seconds. Last one, recover. Woo, bama. There it is. Getting our sweat on now, folks. Back to the lateral lunges. 
you have some weights here, folks, this is a good opportunity to grab them for your lateral lunges. If you're looking for a little extra challenge, there you go, Sunday. Good. Uh, I don't have any weights, so I'm going to stick to the body weight. Cool. That should be enough. Ready? Set. Go. Feet are wide. Shift and side. Side. Oh, yeah. Maybe you're getting a little bit lower. Really try to test that depth with every single rep, y'all. There it is. Strong toes gripping the ground. Try to keep your chest up big and proud. Don't just lean your shoulders over. We got it all starts from the hips. Hips lead the way. Sink them down. We got three seconds left. Two, one. Recover right there. Back on the floor for a push up position. Plank with the shoulder taps on your marks. Get set, go. Straight arms, straight legs, a little tap, boop. Breathe in. At any point in time, you just gotta hold this plank, hold this plank, y'all. Make sure you tuck the tailbone. Don't go arching your back like this. Drive, tuck the tailbone, drive the belly button in. And you're drive the rib cage towards your hips. Everything's squeezing, the legs are squeezing, strong arms. Two seconds, one second. Recover right there. Ooh, mama. All right, y'all, two sets down. One more to go. Lateral lunges time. And marks. Get set. Go. Feet are wide. Slide to the left. Here we go, Sunday. We got our lunges. Ooh, yeah. Sink it low. Looking good. Ooh, yeah. There it is. Just keep on moving, folks. This is the last set. We got about 12 seconds here. Keep on cruising through. Eight seconds, come on. Don't stop now, just keep shifting. Sinking deeper and deeper. Three, two, one, and recover right there. Last set for a shoulder tap, y'all. That's hanging tough now. Legs are straight, arms are straight. Ready, set, go. There it is, a little tap. The, the wider your feet go here, folks, the really easier it is to stabilize. So if you already have your feet a little super wide, maybe bring them in a little bit. I'm going to do a little challenge. Feet a little bit closer. Ooh, baby. Here it is. Ten seconds. Eight, seven, six. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Stay with it now. No knees on the ground for three, two, one. Recover. Woo, right there. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, folks, we're down to our last two for the day. I'm gonna go sideline adductions. So I'm gonna give you a little standing view here. I'm gonna lay on my left side right here with my right leg in front. So I'm looking to lift my left leg up to the sky. I'm gonna cross over. That may not be the best view. So let's try this. This is the real deal right here. Leg in front, bottom leg up as high as you can. It helps to kind of look over your thigh. Maybe you can see your foot. Just the one thing to look out for here, y'all. Make sure your foot doesn't just go forward. Keep it back, keep it in line with the rest of your body right here. Don't just kick it forward. You need a lot more hip flexor action. We don't want all that. So we'll go 30 seconds on one side, 30 seconds on the other side, followed by dead bugs where we're on our backs. Just alternating, legs up, arms up, one leg down, opposite arm down. Very similar to our bird dog type position, same coordination, opposite limbs working together as one, getting the body nice and strong. All right, folks, so 30 seconds on each side for adductions, it's our groin region, inner thighs. We'll go start that sucker out in three, two, one, hit it. I like to hold this foot in place. The hip you may wanna yank it down doesn't always like to be stretched from here. A little bonus stretch, you can pull it up towards your chest though, or more like your waist. It's not gonna be too high. If you feel like your neck is straining, make a little pillow right here. We can relax on the, that bottom arm. This one, I'm just gonna try to hold this foot still. We got five more seconds, y'all. Lift it nice and high. Two, one more, and relax. Switch it on over to the other side. Starting it out in three, two, one, go. 
indeed. It is, oh, top arm holds the leg. Bottom arm can be your pillow. Yeah. You may need an extra towel. I feel like your hip bones are kind of driving into the floor around some hardwood or anything like that. That may make it a little more comfortable. If you don't have a yoga mat thick enough or something. We only got five more seconds, y'all. Three, two, one more. Ooh, big squeeze and relax. On to our dead bugs. Back on your back. Ready, set, and go. Boop. Legs are straight. If, the, if your hands are a little tight, feel free to go bent knees like so. This will be more your bird dog action. That's pretty simple. The straight legs can really spice up the quads and the hamstring. Taking your time, making sure that back is pressing into the ground. We got five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax right there. Back on our sides now, folks. Our adductors need some love. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Ooh. And three, two, one, hit it. We got our pillow. We got our leg holder. And we're squeezing, trying to lift our leg up nice and high. It's 30 seconds here. Almost halfway. Ready, folks? Big squeeze. Slowly lower the leg down. I know some folks just like kind of flop like a fish. Let's control it nice and easy all the way down for five more seconds. Three, two, one. Recover. Fantastic. On to the other side, folks. We're cruising. Let's keep it moving. Ready, set, and go. Got the pillow, leg. Ooh, big squeeze. One leg, this left leg, it's a little cranky. It's a little stiffer. So I gotta really make sure I hold on to it nice and snug here. We're already halfway, y'all. Let's keep it rolling. 10 seconds. Yep, 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 seven. Here we go. Keep squeezing. Four, three, two, one. Recover right there. Woo, two sets down, folks. Let's go ahead and knock out this last set now. Reset the old timer. Get set. Oh, we're on the dead bugs. And go. Lay down. Back up. Ease it down. One more after this. One more set, y'all. Keep those legs straight if you can. Keep your shoulders off the ground if you can. Really light up those abbeys. Reaching high. Taking that leg all the way down, arm all the way over your head, just above the ground. Squeeze those quads at the top. Don't let the knees bend. You got two seconds. One more rep and recover right there. Woo! All right. Two complete sets there now, folks. Let's go ahead and knock out this sucker one more time. Of course, with laying on our side. Crisscross one leg. And let's get pull it working. Here you go. 30 seconds. Last one on this, y'all. Staying smooth. Yeah. Really try to reach that foot up as high as you can. Do not just let it fall, folks. You lower it down. Use your muscles. Don't just use gravity to get your foot back down. Control that puppy. We got five seconds. Three, two, one more and relax. Switch it up. We have one more minute, y'all. Let's stay with it. Ready, set, go. We're cooking. Squeezing. Got your pillow. Keep that leg lifting high. Don't just settle for a half an inch now. Get a little bit higher. Try to keep reaching every single rep, y'all. Halfway there. Got 12 seconds, y'all. Keep it lifting, keep squeezing. We got six, four, three, two, one, and relax. Right on the dead bugs, folks. Ready, set, and go. Legs are up, big spin, boom. Last one for the day, y'all. Push yourself a little bit. If you've been bending your knees, maybe try to 
Just straighten that sucker out just a little bit. Big reach, shoulders off the ground. Don't let them sink. We got 12 seconds, y'all. Try to get the foot as low as you can without touching the ground. We got three, two, one, and relax. Woo! Right there, folks. Hi, dog. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Adam, Tina, Sunday, been a pleasure. Uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next week. All my recording folks, you guys know where to find me next week. Same time, same place. Thanks again, y'all. We'll see you next time.